Good evening. A couple of uh, quick announcements. Uh, the American Queen is scheduled to be in Winona on August 10th. I believe that's next Monday. And uh, it'll be here from noon to 4 o'clock. There's a lot of uh, plans being made for down at the levee while it's here. Uh, Visit Winona has taken the lead on that. And uh, there's going to be music down there, live music. I think there's going to be a DJ. There's going to be a photo studio, information booths, and artisans up on the patio. And, um, be great if we had the public come out for this because it's the only time the American Queen will be docked in Winona this year and uh, unless there's high water or some problems down uh, uh, outside of their control uh, they will be here on, on August 10th so come on out for that. Um, just want to mention too that the City Council and the School Board will be meeting uh, in a joint meeting on August 20th at 5 o'clock originally may have said 4 o'clock, but it'll be at 5 o'clock here in the council chambers to uh, talk about uh, a few issues of joint interest. And uh, Wednesday night, uh, the band show will be having fireworks, so we'll look forward to that as well. And uh, tomorrow night is National Night Out, and I believe there's activities over at the East End Rec uh, starting about 5 o'clock. It's family-centered, so uh, come on out for that. That's all I have, and ask the city manager if she has any. No comment. No? Okay. Call the roll. Mayor Peterson. Here. Councilman Thurley. Here. Craig. Here. Alexander. Here. Hayden. Here. Warshikowski. Here. Double. Here. The first item under <coughs> the petitions, requests, and communications is a request by Winona State University for street closures during their move-in day on Tuesday, August 18th. I move to approve that request. Second. Motion by Michelle, seconded by Jerry. Any discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Carries. Item 3.2 is a request to close Grand Street for an annual block party on September 12th. Move to approve. Second. Motion by Jerry, seconded by Michelle. Any discussion? Um, I just want to say thank you to this neighborhood for doing it for the last 25 years. It's a wonderful party and a really great opportunity for the neighbors to meet the students and I, I'd like to see more of this if, if possible around the community. I think it's, it's a great thing. Um, all those in favor say aye. Aye. All the same sign. Carries. Item 3.3 .3 is a license agreement for the Great Dakota Gathering to be held September 11th through the 13th. Move to approve. Mm -hmm. Second. Motion by Paul, seconded by Pam. Any discussion? Do we, I have a question, I guess, of the, of the city clerk. Uh, we cover their insurance policy for this. Do we do that for other events that you're aware of? Uh, I'm not aware of any other events, but Maynard may know. <laughs> I don't know if we, Mayor and Council, we, I don't know if we've covered others, but we've covered this particular event because it's part of the city <coughs> at the same time. Um, we've done it for the last 12 years, so 11, I guess. All right, just curious. It's pretty minimal, too. It goes on to our blanket, so. Okay. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Carries. Item 3.4 is a request by the Winona Artisan Market for an additional market day to be held on Monday, August 10th. Move to approve that request. Second. Second. by Michelle, seconded by George. Any discussion? No. Uh, I, I would just assume this would be not held in the event that the American Queen Steamboat does not decide to dock? Or? I would guess that would be the case. I don't think there'd be any I don't point. think there's any guarantee that it will, but chances are it will, so uh, we'll move ahead, but then people okay. won't be down there when it doesn't dock. All right. Any other comments, questions? We'll vote. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Here's under unfinished business, item 4.1 is the appeal of the decision of the Board of Adjustment by Chase Hoffman. Well, we discussed this at the last meeting. Um, we had uh, some concerns about uh, draft uh, or some findings. We've had some findings drafted here, which would mean that there would be no windows on the first story of the the south side or the, in the alley or the windows on the Walnut Street side would have to be uh, not transparent. So if there's 
couple of changes to it. I don't know, Carlos, do you have anything you want to add? Okay. Is there a motion? Uh, move to move to approve the the uh, the action. Second. Motion by Pam, seconded by George. Any discussion? Jerry? Um, you're correct. We discussed this considerably, but I'm going to vote against it just like I did last time for the same reasons, and those reasons very briefly are um, good project, but without a more uh, definitive where they can park, where they can't park, I think it's going to create even more of a problem to that not-so-public, but it's called a kind of public-private parking lot down there. So it is for those reasons, not the project in and of itself, but the parking issues that I'm going to vote against. Okay. Any other comments? No. And I will, for the same reason, vote against. Okay. Well, that's it. We'll vote. All those in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Aye. aye. Five, two. Carries. Under new business, item 5.1 is a transit grant application for 2016. The state and federal grant money will provide 80% of the gross operating costs as well as the capital costs. I would note there's one typo. Our advertising revenues are just from ads on the buses. We no longer have <coughs> ads on the benches. I'd move to adopt the following resolution with the grant. I'll second it. Motion by Michelle and seconded by Al. Any discussion? Hearing none, we'll vote. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Carries. Item 5.2 is the renewal of the Winona State University Transit Service Agreement for the 2015-16 calendar year, or academic year. I move to approve the agreement and direct staff to execute the agreement. I second that. Motion by Michelle and seconded by Pam. Any discussion? Hearing none, we'll vote. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Carries. Item 5.3 is the certification of completion, final estimate and resolution of acceptance <coughs> for the 2014 Franklin Street reconstruction. Move to approve the attached resolution. Second. Motion by George, seconded by Michelle. Any discussion? Hearing none, we'll vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Carries. Item 5.4 is the Broadway Pedestrian Safety Proposal. I move to approve the attached resolution. Second. A motion by Michelle and seconded by George to uh, accept the uh, resolution as I, is presented. I'm, we don't know the order of it, but I'd like to offer an amendment to the, to the motion. Okay, we have a motion. Would you like to make a... Yes, a I would... I would move to accept these uh, these upgrades and uh, of signage and also pedestrian signs. I'd like to see if we would add one of those flashing lights. Right now, uh, there's a there's a sign. It says the sign would be located at Liberty and Washington. Uh, from my observation of, of what goes on at those intersections, I'd like to see it placed at Johnson Street, which is right across the street from several churches, libraries, right a kind of main corridor downtown. So instead of Washington, one block, uh, one block further over Johnson Street, I've also noticed that Lafayette gets a lot of traffic too. So I, I think if we put one at Johnson, Lafayette, and Liberty, that would be three sides, and we'd have we'd have that that kind of tendency to straight run all the way through would be would be chopped up a little bit, and people would have a better chance of getting across safely. So instead of two flashing signs, I'd like to see three. I'd also uh, like to move to uh, discuss the Stantec proposal, the proposed changes, at the CIP meeting on August 17th. And that's for a few reasons. One is that I think Stantec's recommendations need to be discussed amongst all of us a little bit more thoroughly. Uh, I think the recommendations were made so that it would make the roads safer for drivers and pedestrians. And I, I believe we should take that uh, you know, take a little bit more time to discuss that, especially since Monona Health and the Chamber of Commerce and downtown Main Street and then that county health group have all chimed in to say, yes, that, that we should pursue <coughs> safety, safety issues in town. And I'd like to see us discuss this at CIP. So that would be my amendment. Uh, another sign, slight change of position with those flashing signs, and also a further discussion at the CIP. I'll second. 
Okay, we have a motion and second. Uh, discussion about the amendment? Hell? Uh, my understanding is the, the pedestrian signs are portable, and uh, I don't know if anyone could explain how portable those signs are in terms of how much it would cost the city to move a sign from one intersection to another. See our city engineer Brian DeFrang is here. Perhaps he might be able to explain that. Uh, they'd be solar, so you could. I mean, there would not be hard wiring. That's the beauty of them. Basically, you'd have to physically pick them up, get your locates for the new position, and then reinstall them. It's it's not much more than you digging a post in the ground. They're a little bit heavier, but uh, um, regarding the locations that we pick, Pam, I pick Washington because you've got. Main Street, then Johnson, then Washington would be middle of two signalized intersections. That's the only reason we picked that. Mm -hmm. uh, Washington Crossing, the apartments, is a direct route into there. Are we married to that position? Absolutely not, but uh, that's the rationale behind picking Washington Street. Okay, yeah, thank you. I am just watching it for a while. It seemed that most of the traffic was at Johnson Street, not at Washington, but we could, since and they are portable, we could. Yes, and during when university's in session, right. there's a lot more traffic at Washington, pedestrian traffic. Okay. That's just the rationale behind it. Okay. Thank you. Other discussion? George? Uh, Brian, you just come back up a minute. Oh. Uh, we have, uh, you know, four bullet points here today. If you could just touch base on, on all of them, we have uh, signage upgrades. What signage are we upgrading or adding or... Uh, the, the signs that are up there right now are not exactly at the best locations, first of all. Second of all, they're old signs that do not have retroreflectivity. In other words, if you're driving through with your lights on, you're not going to probably see them. So they'd be more of the uh, kind of fluorescent yellow looking signs that you've probably seen around. Sure, sure. So we'd put more of those up that would indicate where crossings are. And that's basically it, is upgrading those to the today's standard. Then we have uh, pedestrian pavement crossing markings. That, that's the zebra markings that are you know, the three by six squares that you see on Main Street and stuff like that. The white, and they'll be uh, thermoplastic inlaid. They're estimated to last about four to five years. Okay, kind those, of, they'll kind of look like Abbey Road, right? <laughs> <laughs> Without the Beatles walking across, yeah. <laughs> And then uh, the portable radar speed unit sign. Yep. Uh, you've probably seen them in other communities. Yeah. Um, this would not be like MnDOT will put a cart up. This will not be a cart one. This would be something that will be installed, almost look like a regular 30 mile an hour speed limit sign, except for it will show below what your speed is and, you know, okay. whatever it is. Um, some of them flash when you're going above the speed limit. Some of them don't. So that, and that would be very similar to the pedestrian things where they're actually a lot lighter. You just put a fence post in the ground and you put it on top of it. So that one's pretty portable at all times. Okay. Now the, the sidewalk crossing uh, markings, what is that going to be on all Broadway intersections or just... Uh, uh, what I've got estimated is probably about a half a dozen intersections, which would obviously be two crossings per intersection. Thank you. Jerry, I think you had a question. Yes, uh, Brian, thank you. It's good work. Um, if, if some of those signs flash if you're <coughs> over and some don't, when you're looking like, I think we'd all agree it'd be good to have the one that's flashing if, if we're... Yeah, that's what I kind of plan. I should say not if, when we're going to be hitting it from time to time, exceeding the limits, so then it'll kind of remind us. And you said you're a speeder, so... <laughs> <laughs> Only on my bicycle. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the day. <laughs> Any other questions? Oh, I feel that there's there's uh, an issue still of the location of these signs, which I'm willing to, you know, we can talk about that. I, I am moving to have three of these flashing pedestrian signs wherever we're putting them. So you'd be adding another 12,000 to this? 10,000. 10,000? Mm -hmm. Oh, the flashing, there they are, okay. Right. So my suggestion was Johnson, Lafayette, and Liberty. Uh, Brian has just told me why Washington was the favorite choice. So then 
whatever we discussed or whatever was decided, that be Washington, Lafayette, and Liberty. Any other discussion on the amendment? Good question. Are we adding 20,000? 10. Are we adding 10? No, they're each. They're 10,000 each. Each. And Is that talking. each intersection or each so sign? Each sign. So would it be 10,000 or 20,000, Brian? Uh, are you moving for Washington, Lafayette, and Liberty? Yes. So it would be 10. 10. 10. Okay. okay. So one, one additional. One, one additional one intersection for 10,000. Um, I'm, I'm completely in agreement about this. However, I don't want to get us too locked in on the locations. Right now, those are good locations to start with. They can be moved. I, I, you know, because this is going to be voted on and in the record as an amendment to a motion who, that may pass. But I, as long as we still have the understanding that as traffic changes or as studies, you know, internal studies change, that they, you know, we reserve the right to move those if, if uh, need be. Michelle? I'm a little concerned about the two that are so close together. We talked about in that meeting that <coughs> people get used to seeing these kinds of things and they start to ignore them. Um, I guess I'm still in favor of trying to to see if they even work for pedestrians. I guess I'd rather have the money for something else if we needed it. But I don't know, maybe you don't think Lafayette is too close to the Washington Street, but I remember in our meeting you talked about people getting blind to that stuff over time, like the blinking light over Huff Street that's supposed to remind us to watch for pedestrians, but people just ignore it, or down by McBride Street where the stop sign is and there's that flashing light, but you just kind of, it's been there for how many years now, so you don't notice it anymore. I'm wondering if there might not be a spot that's further away that might still have enough traffic if we're going to do a third or start with the two and add a third later if we find that they're functional or even work the way we think they are going to work or hope they work. I'm not sure how these work in other communities, but this is kind of like a trial, right? That's the way I see it. Yeah. Paul, yeah. what would it cost to put wheels on the uh, radar sign? Put wheels on the radar sign mounted on a trailer so it can be moved. Uh, then you'd have a higher expense. I, I, you know, I have not estimated that expense, but uh, you know, buy a trailer and all that kind of thing, you know, a bigger sign that would be a higher expense. Because we do have a speed problem around town at multiple locations, not just project. Pam? Yes, well, just one more comment about the flashing signs. And, that is that they wouldn't be activated unless someone was actually standing there ready to cross. So it's not going to be, right, right. So it wouldn't be just something that was blinking all the time. People wouldn't. Not, not at all, not okay. at all. That's the okay. intention of these is it is only blinking when a pedestrian is moving. Right, right. I would suggest we go ahead with the three. Uh, because there's a lot of traffic across Broadway and because that's going to remain a kind of high speed, likely high speed kind of kind of corridor. If it came to pass that we didn't need it on Broadway, there certainly are other intersections in town that have been that have been brought that have been talked about. For example, second and second and Johnson has been a dangerous so I think that the three on Broadway would be would be really uh, important. And if it, it proved not to be important, then we could move the sign to someplace that was. I, I agree with Pam. I, th I think that these signs are very effective, and I think to spread them out from Liberty to Lafayette to Washington Street isn't too, really too close, and I think I, I'd like to think that we can afford three of these. For, well, I'm just saying, for clarification, are we talking 10000 for one or 30000 That's what we're talking about, not, not two as the earlier discussion. Or not 20,000, 30,000. Right. Mary, call questions. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All those in favor of the amendment motion, uh, say yes or say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. 5 2. Passes. Uh, George and Michelle. I think I had that right. Now we have an original motion. 
I mean, you still need to vote on that. Uh -huh. All right. Any discussion on the original motion? Uh, yes. <coughs> I'm in favor of the original motion, but one thing we did, one group we heard a great deal from is, uh, I, I guess you'd call it the bicycle group, the people that uh, use the uh, bicycling as their major uh, mode of transportation. You were definitely heard. Uh, this is not ignoring you at all. But one thing I think we did find out is this was mostly focused on the main thoroughfares, or, or for mostly just Broadway. Uh, people don't just bicycle one way, they bicycle all over town. I know we've discussed this, we've researched it, but if there isn't already a group, it would be nice to have uh, administration if, if one isn't already set up. Because that's one thing also we did hear from a number of them. If there's going to be a committee to look at bicycling, bicycling throughout Winona and how we can improve it, please sign me up. I'll be on that committee. We heard that quite often. If a committee doesn't exist, if we could certainly look into uh, setting up a committee so we can look at the entire town. Not just Broadway, which this really focused on for the most part. I think it was a good suggestion. I'm not aware of a formal committee. I think there's kind of an informal committee that's been uh, talking Matt. about some of these issues and maybe we can formalize it and get some city representation on there. Okay, I just didn't want to go through and have a final vote on this and act as if we didn't hear them. We certainly heard you. Yeah, yeah I, I agree with Councilman Craig, and, and I think on the other hand, too, what this committee, if it is created or formalizing an existing one, would be very beneficial, I heard this from at least one constituent, if they would educate bicyclists on, you know, rules of the road. I mean, uh, I think we have good drivers and bad drivers. We have good cyclists and, and not so good cyclists. So I think that would be, if uh, Councilman Craig would agree, uh, okay. uh, something they could work on as well. Well, and, and I would like to make sure that included in that is the idea that people may realize that this has to be funded with property taxes, not just that there may not be gas taxes to fund it. So it, it doesn't become a freebie. It, it becomes something that uh, they've got to be willing to, you know, if it's a multi-million dollar project, to uh, be willing to take uh, an assessment on their property taxes to pay for it. I think maybe you ought to start with a committee. Yeah. Well, I, I agree. The committee. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other at, comments? Yeah, maybe look at alternate alternatives to just Broadway as a, a place where bicyclists can have a, a route. I would hope the committee would look at the whole com the community as a whole and bike routes and how they connect with other uh, bike routes, both in coming into town, uh, Wisconsin, and other parts of the county, too. So. George? And I think also another piece of this can be, and Judy, you can mention uh, or talk with our police chief when the police do have time, if they can do a little more of a radar watch out on Broadway as well, too. Uh, that also is a very, very large deterrent of speeders. And, you know, as I said before, you know, us car drivers, we need to watch for pedestrians and bike bicyclists, and those people also need to watch for us. You know, we need to do the speed limit. We need to cross at the crosswalks, and that also will help move traffic along and also be a lot safer as far as traveling on Broadway, too. I would like to see a, an increased... Uh, uh, radar system out there, uh, with, you know, with an officer out there, and I know I'll be the first one to get the ticket. <laughs> so you know, I know that already. So. Are you volunteering? <laughs> I've already had one on Broadway. Okay. <laughs> we appreciate any contribution. Yes. Make it, uh, Are those administrative fines yet? <laughs> Speeding tickets. Boy, we'd really get that jackpot. <laughs> Mayor. Yeah. Yes. Comment. Um, several years ago, I think. In my recollection, there was a fairly fairly extensive bicycle study done throughout the city, um, and as I recall, that was the one that resulted in establishing Seventh Street as the bike route. So, as the committee and other staff look into that, that might be a valuable resource. Uh, from the original proposal that the city, I think, paid uh, a consultant for a study on to what we have today and then looking at that and going forward. Um, and I had another thought, but it just slipped my mind right now, so I'll save it for later. And also some clarification of bike rules, that there seems to be some gray areas as to what is defined as a downtown area, which has one set of rules, 
versus others so that they could look into that as well. Oh, I, I know what it was. I'll remember. <laughs> um, that this is just a step in the direction. I mean, I think it's not the end result and what the city is going to do, but it's a step in continuous improvement of safety and, and uh, for all of our citizens in our community. You mean the motion in front of us right now? Yes. It's just a step. Yes. Absolutely. I'm speaking to that motion. I support it. And the amendment As which we passed has. also indicated that we'd be talking about this in our, right. our uh, capital improvement project. Any other discussion before we vote? If not, we'll vote. All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Carried. Item 7.1 is council concerns. <clears throat> we'll start with uh, Paul on it. I was just saying that at our last meeting we approved a um, a good project using a 20-foot cartway, uh, for lack of better words. Uh, I've identified, just looking at uh, some maps of Winona, seven parcels which I think would have been better locations. And as I said in uh, the discussion last meeting, was I would hope that any time we have worthwhile projects like that, that uh, if we can't find good locations for good projects uh, for anybody, I invite them to call me because there are pieces of land that are owned by the public entities for public projects that could have been utilized and fronted on public streets with sewer and water. And I will give to the city manager a list of seven locations that could have been used. Okay, is that it? All right, thank you. Pam? Uh, I guess I'm, I'm coming back to the issue of, of the streets and pedestrians and bicycles. I had, and twice in the last couple of weeks, I've been walking down the street when and two bicycles have come riding toward me with the two people talking to each other. This was right outside your office. Did you hear me screaming? <laughs> Were they on the sidewalk? Because that's when I scream. <laughs> that's right. They're on the sidewalk coming right toward me, ignoring me. And, and we've got people riding on the sidewalks because they're afraid of the streets. You know, this is going to become more of a problem, I think, as more people move into these new apartments downtown. And we really have to get on, get on top of this bicycle riding pedestrian issue. That's my, my concern. Okay. Thank you, Pam. George? Okay, okay thank you. Uh, we were given an email uh, with an example of a bump out, kind of you know, a finished one, and uh, yes, it, it does look very workable. This, of course, was not taken in town. You're in a different city, but uh, it, it's interesting, and uh, yes, there could be some merits uh, uh, to that bump out. Uh, this past weekend, uh, I want to give a, uh, a a good thank you to the staff at the East End Rec Center. Uh, they helped me with the project this weekend and uh, pass on to them. Judy, the staff down there was very cooperative, very helpful, and I really appreciated their help, and they were very professional and good at it. And also, I'd just like to pass on condolences to the Lorraine Malawicki Westland, a uh, longtime Fourth Ward resident, passed away here uh, two weeks ago. In fact, it's her birthday today. We celebrated her birthday last year when she turned 90, and uh, she did not have an opportunity to celebrate her 91st, but very loving, caring mother, uh, mother, grandmother, very good lady. Thank you. Michelle? Um, just a, a community announcement. Um, the city recently took back both sister city programs. We're forming a board. Um, we're getting ready to launch our WIFA board, and. In that trend, we have um, the first informational meeting Tuesday, August 18th at the Winona Middle School at 6.30 p.m. It's open to the entire community. Students from any school can apply. Homeschooled students, Montessori school students, Lutheran school, and public school have the opportunity to take the trip to Japan for the first time. So anyone in the community that would like to have that opportunity, whether as an adult ambassador and uh, uh, you know, a partner along or a student, Go to the middle school, they'll have all the information there for you to tell you how to apply and the process of taking this trip to Japan. I know that the community is pretty excited about being able to offer this opportunity to the community as a whole. And then you can also get a hold of Joe Lepley, who is currently the 
I guess, our acting president for that board. His uh, email is jlepley at riverland.org, and he can give you more information if you're unable to meet, make that meeting. Um, but I know that Pam is thinking about going, and I know there's some other community members that from the adult side that wanted to go, but we're hoping to have a good turnout of students as well. That's all I have. Okay, thank you. Jerry? Emerald ash borer just doesn't seem to go away, and actually it's arrived a little more. A lot of people that were trying to figure out if they're going to invest in treating their trees, but I think they'll just wait until it really hits Winona. Now's the time to probably make a call and treat your trees. Um, it's uh, a few trees have been identified within the city limits that do have it. If we could have uh, Keith give us just a bit of an update, possibly at the next meeting. Um, I do know that our tree crew has been slammed. They're doing an exceptional job, but we've had a lot of down trees, and they're, they're trying to play catch-up. But if we could just hear more on, on uh, just updating us on what the plan is and, and do we need more assistance to stay ahead of this. So if, uh, whatever, whatever you and Keith want to share with us would be really appreciated. Is there anything on our website uh, leading people to where they, who they can contact <coughs> if they want to contact uh, somebody to treat their trees? I don't think a lot of people wouldn't know where to go to. I don't think they would know either. I think there's stuff on our website. There used to be on the front page, but I think if you go on and search for it, it's there. Or the contact information on someone in the office to get a hold of about it. Or at least when I was looking for information, I found it there. Okay. All right. Al? Uh, I just went on the city's website and found the Emerald Ash Borer page, so okay. it's there. But is there what a treat? Or what about um, seed treating? Confirm, discovered, implementation, so... It, it's there. Perhaps it needs updating, and we'll get that okay. report uh, at our next meeting, Jerry. Thanks. Thanks for bringing that up. I wish uh, I didn't have to. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of ash trees too are yeah. wishing that. Um, and I concur with the mayor in his introductory remarks about the municipal band and their centennial season. It's been fantastic to to hear the band and watch them, and uh, this celebration is uh, very well done. Appreciate that. Uh, and I'd also like to wish today my Best birthday wishes to my son, Brian, who turns 40 today. Wow. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Under the consent agenda, there are two items, the approval of the minutes from July 20th and one claim against the city by Michael Jepson. Move to approve the consent agenda. Second. Motion by Al, seconded by Michelle. Any discussion? Hearing none, let's vote. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. I right, move we adjourn. Second. Motion by George, seconded by Michelle to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. Aye. aye.